Okay. Well, I'm a little stuck today, it looks like, maybe. Hey, anyway, yeah. It's a little bright in here, isn't it? There's a lot of light coming in through the window, so it's a little bright in here, so... Sorry about if that's a problem. Uh, yeah. So, today is my... I'm... My, uh... This, is, this video is for what sold this week for the first week of April 2018. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get right started on it. There's a lot, a lot to show, so... All right, so the very first thing that sold this week was just one of these pieces. Just one of these pieces out of this uh, old perfection game. It's one piece, sold for four forty nine plus shipping. So anyway, so I paid like probably like, I don't know, but I I paid like five cents. So it was like five cents for the the whole thing. So. I paid, you know, I don't know, a buck or something for the game, so. And these were originally listed, uh, well, that's the wrong date. It's been a while, so I have the wrong date in here, so I can't, can't fix that, so. Alright, so they sold April 1st. Alright, it, it sold April 1st, so. Okay, next. First one, I got the wrong date already. I can't, can't believe it. Alright, next. Come on, next. Next is... Just one of these. Uh, not sure which. Let's see. And it's not even in here. Why is it not here? It's not even listed. Wow, that's interesting. I sold the letter. I'm pretty sure it was the letter I that sold. This is not starting out well. This isn't starting out well at all. So anyway, uh, I think I got 5.99 plus shipping on it because I don't have it in here. That's incredible. I can't believe I don't have it in here. But I don't. So, uh, yeah. They've been listed. They've been listed for a couple years. And so April 1st. So, next. Wow. Not starting out well at all. Alright, well, this one's here. Alright, so I paid a buck for this, uh, Mary Englebright game. And let's see. I listed it February 11th, 2017. Sold it April 1st this year, and I got $7 plus shipping. So I, I thought it would sell much faster than than what it did. Honestly, I mean, I had a more than fair price on it. And it's not like there weren't others that were that had sold, so it, and it was there. But it just didn't. So that's the breaks. Uh, I guess I needed it for uh, for this week, not for any other week. I needed it for this week, so... That's good that it worked out that way. That's the purpose of having an inventory, I guess. So next, a pair of shoes, Cobby Cuddlers. Again, these have been around for a while too. So I paid two bucks for these. I listed them November twentieth, two thousand seventeen, and sold sold uh, April second, two thousand eighteen. This, this for twenty bucks. Twenty bucks plus shipping. So next, this has to go. What is that doing there? All right, next. Crash Canyon. I picked this up for two bucks at the thrift store, and I listed it March 18th. I sold it April 2nd, and I got $150 for this game. It's not actually a game; it's just a, like a playset, just like a, a terrain. There you can see it's a terrain to drive uh, micro machines around on. So, and so that was it. So it was $150 plus shipping on that. So I think it went to Colorado. And next, underwears sold. Underwears, five ninety nine. Paid fifty cents. Listed September sixteenth. Sold April second. Of course, they're uh, actually yeah, they're five ninety nine. They're yeah, they're forty percent off, but they're all gone now. So next. Easy Tech Adapter. This was I paid nothing for this. Probably got it to clean out or something. And uh, I listed it May first last year. Sold it April second for ten bucks. Free shipping. Next. And it's just a tiny little book. It's it, it's maybe not even maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Probably four inches by four inches. It's just a little book with the. Uh, 
a snork adventure. I just thought it was interesting, so I looked it up. I saw you could get something for it, so I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So it's not like I made a killing on it. I paid 35 cents, so, you know, but it's just, I, I don't know, I get a kick out of selling this stuff, so I just do it. And that's, and you know, that's the whole thing. So anyway, I listed it April 13th. Last year, sold it April 2nd, $5.95 plus shipping. Next. Bockling. Bockling glassware. A bunch of them. There's a set of 12. There's a picture of the 12. And I got these at a property I cleaned out, so I didn't pay anything for them. I listed them November 7th, 2015. And I had them priced, I think, originally $250. And uh, honestly, that was high, but there was justification for it at the time. It just didn't it didn't work out. So I kept lowering the price over a long period of time, a couple years, two three years, until finally I got an offer for forty. Not an offer. I actually had them down to forty nine ninety nine, and somebody bought them now. So fifty bucks plus shipping, and they sold April second. Next. Hot dog tongs. Yes, hot dog. Hot dog tongs. Old Echo hot dog tong, tongs. Tongs. Paid 29 cents. Listed April 15th of last year. Sold April 3rd for $7 free shipping. Next. And inline skates. Yes. They are. They're inline skates. I paid three dollars. I listed them July thirtieth, two thousand sixteen, and I don't think I'll ever list another pair of inline skates again. Although I did just list some new in package wheels and bearings for that for some, but uh, yeah. So I paid three bucks. I listed and, and yeah, I told you two thousand two thousand sixteen. I had a lot of stuff that's older, older, older stuff that's been selling recently. So good deal that's all I can say it sold April 3rd and I got $25 plus shipping for these skates so not 40 bucks 25 plus shipping and I was glad next Franciscan saucers they were listed they've been listed a long time I thought sure they they would be more interested in there but there hasn't been so and I have more I have to do a relist on this. I'd forgotten all about it, but I need to do a relist on this. And, uh, because I probably have another, at least, at least another 12 or 16 of them, maybe more. So, anyway, I paid $3.16. I paid too much for them. 79 cents a piece, I think it was. Something like that. And, uh, I listed these August 22nd, 2015, so three years ago, almost. Sold April, April 3rd for 20 bucks. Free shipping to, to boot. How about that? So, next. And it's a gas tank cap for a lawnmower. I've got a few of these at Walmart. Uh, I think I had three of them, two of them, something like that. Three of them. I had three of them. I got them at Walmart. I paid uh, I paid a buck a piece for them. I listed them um, September 10th last year. Sold April 3rd, and I got $11 free shipping. So it's not a killer, but uh, it's a little bit. So and I could use a little bit this this month. So next, more underwears. Let's see this one. Oh uh, yep. Well, this was actually sold. This actually sold, and I had to do. I had to cancel it for out of stock, because sh there shouldn't have been any left. And I, I actually had checked the listing, and there wasn't any left. Left, and apparently, somehow somebody ended up ordering one. I don't know how that worked, but there shouldn't have been. It was over. I didn't even think the thing was even listed anymore. And I, I actually had checked it to make sure it wasn't listed, and. And somehow it sold. I, I don't know how that worked, but it did. So I got a ding for that one. So out of stock on that. Next. And as much as I love Peppy Le Pew, this mug, which 
Let's see. I paid seventy nine cents for. I listed it March twenty, March thirty, March twenty first. Sold it April fourth for fifteen dollars, free shipping, and then they didn't pay. So that went through the non paying bidder process, and they got the ding on their account. So next, not that I'm vindictive or anything like that. They didn't. They all they had to do was ask. I mean, at any point up until the non paying bidder opens up, they can ask me, and I'll cancel it for them. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't try to force people to buy anything, but I do expect you to be, you know, responsible and at least ask me, you know, to to do it. Because once that opens, I can't do anything. Once once it's open, I can't do anything. So they never even contact me or nothing. So anyway, so that's it for that. They're they're out of here. That one's out of here. Oh, it's not out of here. It's relisted. So next. I know what a horrible picture, right? Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a candle holder. Little twinned candle holder. I sold this one, and let's see. This one sold for. Uh, uh, I paid nothing for this list. It's been listed for since October two thousand fifteen. Sold April fourth for six ninety nine plus shipping, and it sold to. Let's see if I can find it here. Right here, maybe. No, not there. Not there. Not that one. Not that one. There we go. Pair. These here. These also went to the same. The same buyer, and they paid. Oh, let's see. That one was. I uh, paid nothing for those. Again, it's the same thing as 2015. I've had them listed forever. Just a little experiment I tried. Didn't work. I won't do it again. So, <laughs> and these sold April. Fifth for twelve dollars. So I included these and the other one. So that was that. So all right, next. No, oh, not the jeans. The Bible story book. This let's see. I paid a dollar twenty nine for this. I listed it uh, March twenty first last year. Sold it April fourth for eight ninety nine plus shipping. Next. Woodland camo. It's a proper. Right? It's been listed a while. These used to sell a lot better for me than a lot faster than they are now. So this was I paid two and a quarter for it. I listed it March twenty first last year. March twenty first last year and sold it April fourth and I got twelve bucks uh, plus shipping. It was on sale, so all my clothes are on sale. I think they might still be on sale. I don't know. I don't know if I ran it like permanent to get rid of them or what. But yeah, they're all on sale. So next, there's so there's so much um, competition in clothing that I and that might be why those those camels aren't selling that well for me anymore because there's probably a bunch of people listing them much cheaper. Well, that's that. So anyway, uh, not your daughter's jeans. And let's see, I was actually pleased when I picked these up. I thought they would do better and. Let's see. It looks I didn't pay anything for them. Oh no, yeah, these these were these were in that box of, of jeans that uh, that that tote full of jeans that I've had forever and ever and ever. So yeah, so uh, I have them as I didn't pay anything. So it's probably just because I don't remember where I got them. So anyway, yeah, uh, listed. Okay, no, they're not. They're not. Well, I don't know where they were. I don't know where these came from. They've been listed since November last year. So I thought they were in there, but they're not. Maybe I just don't remember what I paid for them, that's all. So anyway, I sold them April 5th, and I got $9.50. Somebody made an offer, and I took it with free shipping. That wasn't real bright, was it? They were really light, though. They were, like, really light. So I think I actually might have shipped them first class. So, not sure. But anyway, next. I didn't make anything on them, so not your daughter jeans. Out of here. And that's probably, I don't know, it's maybe because I don't sell a lot of clothes, so maybe eBay doesn't show my listings to people who are looking for them. I don't know. But anyway. And Dickie's thermal underwear. Why is it that every year going into the spring I sell these things? I don't know what it is. Is it because the people who were undercutting me the whole time 
decided to to stop selling in the spring. I don't know, but it seems to be, be the way that works for me. So I don't know. But anyway, I paid three bucks, and I actually sold them for seven twenty, so with free shipping. So I didn't I didn't make anything because they were on sale too. So, but at this point. I just got my, basically got my three bucks back, I paid for them. I, you know, basically, that's how that works, so, which is fine. I, it's, it, I wish I could sell, I'd sell them all for that and get them all gone. I could, so. All that I have left, I have a lot of them left, so. Anyway, uh, I listed these May 16th, 2016. Sold April 5th for 720, so. That's that. Next. Libby, this is a, a old, it's a real tall, it's a cocktail glass, it's real tall, I'm sure it had, you know, umbrellas or whatever sticking out of it, wherever they, wherever they got these at, I don't know where they got them at, it's naked ladies, there's three naked, naked women on there, so, uh, Le Femme, Libby Le Femme, I don't know what that is, but they're dancing girls. So anyway, I paid a buck at the Goodwill. I have two of them. Well, I had two of them. Now I got one left. So, uh, and I didn't get them at the same time. Same Goodwill, but different different days, weeks of, weeks apart actually. So I paid a buck. I listed January tenth, two thousand eighteen. Sold April fifth, and I got twenty dollars free shipping. Next, and this is a black leather. Wilson's handbag, and this came from, I'm pretty sure I got this at, yeah, I got this at the niche in a bag sale. So, uh, I paid 26 cents, listed it August 27th last year, sold it April 6th, and I got $12 free shipping. Next. Levi's. It's an old pair of Levi's. Not Levi's, Wranglers. These are old Wranglers. I don't wear Wranglers. My son loves. He likes Wranglers. I don't like Wranglers. But anyway, that's just me. And uh, so, it's a weird size. 11 by 36. I don't quite get that. 11 by 36. It's just an odd size. So I suppose it's an 80s thing. I don't know. But I paid 50 cents. I listed them April 19th. Sold April 19th last year. Sold them April 6th. And I got $12 for these. Plus shipping. Next. And Aunt Lydia's rug yarn. Pick this up. Where did I get this? Get this. Oh. Paid 21 cents for it. I think it's one of the ones I got in that bag. That big, that $20 bag I bought at Goodwill. So. Uh, I listed it March 26th. Sold April 6th. And I got $15. Free shipping for them. So. I think I had three bucks a piece on them at the. Well, I had them over at the shop for a little bit. Nobody bought them, so I, I put them on eBay and got much more money. So, much more monitors. Next, swizzle sticks. I don't know where I got these. Yard sale maybe. Swizzle sticks, sixty nine cents. I paid. So nope, it was they were they were they were at the goodwill. Sometimes my goodwill will have 69 cents stuff. And, uh, yeah, I listed them August 3rd last year, sold April 7th, and I got 10 bucks free shipping. Next. Lots of low, low prices. And it's a hobnail. I love selling these. 79 cents I paid. Listed November 9th last year sold April 7th and I got 12.50 for this one 12.50 plus shipping so that's nice next usually I usually have them listed maybe that's why it took a while to sell because I usually have them listed for 15 bucks free shipping but that that has that one had shipping on it so next and white ring remover still have some of these left I sold two of them uh, for a buck well, no, they cost it. It cost me a buck. They're fifty cents each, so it cost me a buck for the pair. I listed them May tenth, two thousand sixteen. Sold April seventh for eight bucks for the pair. Free shipping. 
which worked for me. I took an offer, you know, so, which is good because I took it because only because there was two. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken it. I wouldn't have taken four dollars. Okay, next. Samuel Adams bottle opener. This has been listed for a while. And I paid 29 cents. Listed it March 7th, 2016. Sold April 7th for $6.95. Free shipping. Not a killer thing, but a fun thing. So, next. Carnal Innocence. This is an audio book on cassette. Nora Roberts. Paid 50 cents. Listed June 25th, 2016. I got I had a whole bunch of audio books that I got in a bag. I'm pretty sure it had a bag lot. I think at Niche. And uh, I'm slowly selling them. Selling them. I have a few left, not too many, but I sold I sold a bunch of them. So I got seven dollars and sixty nine cents for this, uh, plus shipping. So next, Renaissance Chess. I paid a buck at the Goodwill. Paid a buck at the Goodwill. My nose itches, guys. Sorry. And I listed it March eighteenth. Sold it April seventh. And I got thirty dollars plus shipping, thirty bucks plus shipping. Some chess sets do sell pretty good, just so you know. As long as they're nice, you know. As long as they look pretty good. See, I mean, you can look at that. I mean, it's, all the inserts are there, and the pieces are there, and they they, they look pretty nice. So it's it, you know, and they're they have, they have felted bottoms. The bottoms are felted, so they're nice. They're pretty nice. So. You just sometimes you have to be patient and you gotta wait. Sometimes you don't have to wait very long, but anyway. Next. And these golf tees. You know when I bought these? I bought these golf tees at Walmart in Mentorsville, Pennsylvania when I moved up just before I moved up here to uh Wellsboro and So that means I've had them for twelve years. <laughs> Just so you know, well, I'm actually going on. Thir it's going on 13 years, so I've had them a long time. And I, I I got them for a song. I got them really super cheap. I don't remember really how much. I got 50 cents on here, which is probably right, 50 cents. And uh, it says they've been listed since October 23rd, 2015, but they were actually listed years and years and years ago as well. And I sold a few off here and there, and that's what I do. I sell, you know. I sell a few off here and there. There's there's only a few left now, so hopefully they'll sell. But they're they're nice gloves. I mean, it's you just gotta find a lady who wants a left-handed white large glove. So anyway, yeah, yeah. They sold April seventh, and I got a dollar eighty for it because it's in the sale. It's in the clothing sale. So, or did I take an offer of a dollar fifty? Maybe I took an offer of a dollar fifty plus shipping. Or dollar eighty plus shipping. I don't know, but I took it. Whatever it was, I took it and sold it. Cause, please go away. It says I only got two left. Maybe I only have two left down there. That'd be good. That'd be good. Besides, it says six sold. So maybe there's only two left. And they'll go away. They'll go away, and I can be rid, rid of that forever. So, all right, next. Skechers straight away black slip-ons, bike shoes. I don't know. It says bike shoes, but they don't have the little... They don't have the little things that some of the bike shoes have in them. But they still look good, so... Yeah, so anyway, that's those. And I paid $3.20. Must have gone half off. They must have been... I bet you they were six ninety nine. No, that doesn't really sound right. I'm thinking I got them at Goodwill on like a half off day or something. Not positive. So anyway, yeah. So three twenty I paid. I listed November twenty seventh last year. It sold April seventh, and I got twenty dollars plus shipping. So and they went first class. Actually, they were really light. So all right, next. And there had to be one of these. There had to be one of these. And there is. So it's a. Uh, it's actually a wide mouth canning jar lid. And I might have messed up on this. I messed up on one of them. 
the guy had actually ordered two, and I only sent him one, but I don't know if it was this one or not. But then, you know, he let me know, and then I sent him the other one, so it was cool. All worked out, so. All right, so I paid... Yeah, there it is. It was this one that I paid. I don't know why I maybe... I only don't know why I only sent him one. I got it in here correctly as 74 cents that I paid for them. I listed um, October 10th last year, sold April 7th, and I got $14.38 plus shipping for the pair. So I had it in here right. I just didn't have it. I didn't ship it right. So I don't know how that happened. Probably late night. And I want to get it done. So next. I don't remember. Could have been early in the morning. I was tired. This took forever. This guy, I, I think he paid on the last day of the non-paying bidder process. It took a long time. I just got paid for it just the other day and shipped it out. So, uh, it's just a little close owned vase. And I paid 65 cents. I listed it August 18th last year. I didn't think, well, I didn't really think I had it listed that long. That's pretty crazy. But, and you can see the inside was just blue. It was pretty. It was pretty. It was small. It was just a little thing. Uh, yeah. I didn't think I had it listed that long. Holy cats. So I, I sold it April 7th for $11. And that was it. That was the last thing I sold for this week. So altogether, I paid $32.49 for all the stuff that I sold. And my gross sales for the week was $575.10. Five seventy-five dollars and ten cents is my gross sales. Doesn't count shipping. And I had those two items that ended up not getting, not getting completed. So that was twenty dollars and ninety-nine cents. So my net sales for the week was five hundred and fifty-four dollars and eleven cents. So that was it. All done. All finished. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, thanks for hitting the like button. And if if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe, and hopefully you'll get another one soon. And I'm out of here, so you have a great day. Keep listening, and we'll keep making money. And don't forget, fourth quarter is coming. I know it's only April, but it's coming. So, All right, take care. Bye-bye.